Right. A morning once more is still a morning. Right. Today, let us look at revision. And I want you, I don't want to talk much today. I want the talk, talking to come from you. I know I want you to tell me concepts length. I told you we are now in, uh, we've covered six weeks. We'll be writing end of six weeks test. Now, so far, I want you to tell me what you have learned and in what you have learned in uh, maths, what you did not understand. And let us look at that concept. I have taught, I want to hear from you, which concept you didn't understand very well from all those which we, we learned. Yes, Takunda? Teacher? Yes. I, 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 understood, I understood the one of saying cha changing um, uh, decimals to fractions. Mm -hmm. But 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 I didn't understand the fractions to decimals. The fractions to decimals. Yes. Very good, very good. Takunda is saying he understood part of the concept of fractions, but now he is given now fractions. Yes, to change them to decimals. All right. Is there anyone else who had this uh, problem? Also, Ashley, yes, my own way. You also did not understand when you were changing fractions to, to decimals. All right, yes, all right, uh, that's very good. Let us look into that. We are changing fractions to decimals, isn't it? Let me just check on. Right, we are having fractions, isn't it? Right, like, uh, let me say we are having uh, fractions like a, a half. Or let's say we are having uh, one quarter or half, it's okay one quarter this is a fraction a proper fraction okay we want to change it to decimal fraction as you are saying this is our numerator and this is our denominator if we want to change this to decimal fraction we are going to divide this number is it is the fraction. This is used to divide. So we are dividing the numerator by the denominator. And as you can see, the denominator is bigger than the numerator. Because in most cases, we divide the number which is uh, our divisor should be smaller than our dividend. But in this case, the denominator is the one that is bigger than the numerator. Just write your sum like this for starters so that you will not go wrong. All right? 
you start by saying how many times will four go into one? Can four go into one? How many sets of fours can we take out from one? Can this happen? No. 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 So we're clear on this one. So if it cannot happen, let us say it is going to go zero times. Put that zero on top of one. Immediately put a comma. That is where the decimal come in now. After that is zero, put a comma. And then go on. A zero next to this 10, one. So that it becomes 10. You don't leave the sum as it is. You work it out up until you find a you find somewhere where you will just stop. Then you continue, four into 10. Just add those zeros, they are there. Yes, my mom was so saying, how many times will four go into 10? My two remainder. You put two on top of zero, that zero which you have uh, borrowed. Then multiply. This is a normal division. Doesn't change. Two times four is going to be eight. Put that eight under zero. Separate like that. Ten minus eight, two. Carry one minus one, zero. You have got a two. You still have a number there. You cannot leave like that. Again. At a zero, that is zero next to you can add it even there at the top. Keep on adding zeros, all right. And then now you are saying four into 20. How many times, Pinky? How many times will four go into 20? Four remainder. 20 pinky. 20. Yes, I remember. Ashley. Five. Five times. Five times, pinky. There's no remainder there. It's only five. Five times four. What is five times four? One. It One. Is one. Five times four is one. When? Who's saying one? Eight, four, six, seven. Seven. Uh, when? Uh. Uh, yeah. Right. No, yes, I mean. It's 20. Now 20 minus 20, zero, zero. So this one is just straightforward. So in other words, we are saying one quarter is a decimal fraction is zero comma two five because we have added the zeros up until you came to where you got 20 and then multiplied five by four twenty separated there is no remainder Right, let me take this one, which I know. What is all that KKKK? Where is that coming from? I have muted people, please don't unmute if I haven't told you to do so. If you do and you are able to mute yourself. Mute yourself. All right. If you are in a position to mute yourself, you can. So, right, let us look at this one. Uh, oh, or do you have the ones there which you want us to look at? Do you have those uh, fractions? Which one them? 
Yes, my boy. Five eight. Five eight. All right. Let us look at five eight. Right. We are dividing five by eight. And again, this one is a bigger number. So how many times will eight go into five? Eight into five? My one was dark where you are. Yes, Tapuzwa. Zero. Yes, eight is not going to five. So we are going to put a zero and then a comma. Borrow a zero, put it next to five. Now we are saying eight into 50. How many times will eight go into 50? Come in, eight into 50. My wife, if you can mute yourself, please, after unmuting. Can you do that? If you don't, I will mute. It's okay. Pinky, eight into 50. Eight, eight times. It is going to go eight times. Pinky eight say times. Okay. Is it going to go eight times, Charmaine? Six. Huh? Pinky, why are you saying eight times? It is going to go six times. What is six times eight? Pinky, six times eight? No, now I can see the problem is not uh, decimals. It's you not knowing multiplication. Because if you don't know your multiplication, you are not going to divide. Really? Red six, seven? No, 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 no. We cannot work in that manner. You should know your multiplication now. It should be here in your fingertips. What is six times eight? Yes, Dr. 48. It is 48. Please learn your, if you don't know your multiplication table, you will always have problems with the sums. And you think is the concept when it is you who don't want to learn your tables. At this stage, you should just say multiplication table as if you are opening water from the tap. I don't understand why people who don't know their multiplication table. No, it is a taboo. You cannot do that at your level. Ah. Right, you separate 50 minus 48, you remain with the two. We still have a remainder there. We have to divide. Put a zero there, borrow a zero from nowhere, put it at the top, put it again next to two, which will be 20. Continue dividing. Eight into 20, Ashley. How many times will eight go into 20? 2 times 2 times 2 times 8 My wrong way 2 times 8 16. 16 16 put down that 16 subtract in this manner we all know long division 10 minus 6 it is 4 carry down 1 1 minus plus 1 2 2 minus 2 0 look we still have remainders. If we have a remainder at a zero, continue dividing. At a zero there for place holder at the top and then another zero down. We still have numbers. Finally, 18 to 40. Takunda, 18 to 40. Takunda. You are sleeping there. Look. 
Yes, Charmaine? And five. Five. Five times eight, 40. Put down that 40 separate. You have your answer. Yeah, it is correct to three decimal places. Suppose my one way you were asked to say, uh, write your answer, correct it to two decimal places. What it means? It means that you are going to look at this five and the round off, you know what it means to round off. Five is bigger than five, so you add a one to three so that your answer becomes 0, 0,63. It depends on the question which you were asked. But if it is just change, your answer will be 0, 0,625. But if it is specified, all your answers should be corrected to two decimal places. You round you off. In that manner. Are you clear now, Takunda? Yes, ma'am. Anyone who still has problems? Are we clear? Keep on dividing. Keep on. If we don't have other number, add zeros up until you don't have a number. Okay, which one is that one? Can let us look at uh, the one that has got three, 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 three. Which one was that? Who can tell me? You still have the one? Yes, Ashley. What was it? One third. It is? One third. One third. Right, let's look at this one. It is whereby you are going to divide three into one. All right, three into one. What answer are we going to get? What answer? What answer? It is beautiful All right, three into zero, a uh, three into one, zero, isn't it? You ate a zero day. 3 into 10, how many times? Will 3 go into 10? Let's quickly do that our time. Yes, my one way. 3 remainder 1. 3 times 3 there? 9. Yes. 10 minus 9? 1. 1. 1. We have a 1. 8 is 0. 8 is 0 next to 10. Three into ten. Um, How many times? Yes, Ashley. Three. Nine. Three. Three times three. Nine. Then we subtract. Again, we have a remainder. One to get rid of. A zero there. A zero there. Three into ten. Three. three times three, nine. We saw nine. 10 minus nine, one. We will do this up until the sun sets. Can you see that? Three to 10, three. Three times three, nine. 10 minus one, zero, 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 zero. Right. In such a sum, this one, 
you are asked to write your answer correctly to three decimal places. And here we look at these three. The last one, three is smaller than five. So this is not going to change. Our answer will be zero comma triple three. Any other problems with changing fractions to decimals? No. no. It is not clear. One more. What is what is left now? You are saying no, it's not clear. What else do you want? Oh, it's clear. Takunda, <laughs> you are sleeping there. It is it is not. So where is the problem now, Pinky? Because I think I've explained. Where is it that you don't understand now? Yes, Pinky. Where is it that you don't understand? You are saying it is not clear still. Where is your problem? I'm saying yes, which I understand. Ah. So, it's okay. I'm going to give. Today, I want Takunda, you write your work because you said you have got a problem. I want to see the work which I'm going to give you written. Okay. Right? Yes, ma'am. Everybody, so that I see that you understood. Anyone who's not going to write the exercises today, I'm not going to be your friends. No, I am not going to be. All right. Uh, yes, ma'am. It's okay for today. Thank you for attending. Please uh, write your work and then submit all your work. Okay. It's a